up until about a year ago, my life was pretty normal. I lived in the greatest place ever. Brooklyn, represent, had two cool parents, and loved all things science and superheroes. Everything changed, though, when my dad was killed in the city hall bombing. I, I couldn't believe he was gone. But Peter Parker and his Aunt May, they were there for me. And so was Spider-Man, who I later found out was Pete. Crazy, right? Then when the Devil's Breath crisis started, things got intense. It seemed like all of Spidey's villains were on the loose. I managed to do my part to help him out. And after all that, believe it or not, a spider bit me. And I started to change. I didn't want to worry my mom, so I went to Pete. And now, we're officially Spider Bros. He's been training me up, and I'm actually getting pretty good with this whole web swinging thing. I'm still learning to juggle this responsibility with everything else in my life. School, friends, a new home. I moved to Harlem a few weeks back. But I'll tell you, I can't wait to see what the future holds. Gracias, chico. De nada. That is so cool. I got you. Hey, thanks. No problem. Hey, uh, you think you're gonna add that new Spider-Man too? The kid? Yeah, maybe. Original's just my guy, you know? Yeah, I know. Hey, is Tails Bodega around here? Yeah, bright yellow sign down the block. Can't miss it. Thanks. Beautiful work, by the way. Maybe leave a little room for the new guy, just in case. Let's hope. Okay, closing in on you. Be there soon. Should let mom know I'll be late. Miles, get that. Did you get the shopping day? Hey, mom. Uh, yeah, but uh, the bodega was out of coconut milk. Gonna check a store downtown. Oh, thank you. But avoid Midtown. That prison convoy is making traffic at night here. Oh, yeah. Good call. See you at dinner, mom. Man, how does Pete do this secret identity thing? It completely stresses me out.
Okay, be cool. Be cool. Helping Spider-Man protect the giant prison convoy? You can handle this. Breathe in, breathe out. Be cool. Pete! You here? Just down in some rocket fuel. How are you... drinking? Very, very carefully. Okay, go time. Helix 2 on route, heavy payload. Copy, Helix 2, we've got you on scope. This is... a big operation. It's gotta be. Hundreds of felons escaped from the raft last year. Now it's time to move them back in. Police aren't taking any chances, especially not with our guest of honor. Getting a lot of interference here. One of those guys who helped Doc Doc is in there? Think so. Could be Vulture, could be Scorpion, could be someone bigger. Okay, we got a problem. Hold back, Miles. Let me take. I got this, Pete. Don't worry. Miles, no! It's secure. It's okay, we got this. Just need to contain it before... Before that happens. Hello, tiny spiders. Alexei! 
That's not good. Oh, hey, sorry, happy holidays!
can't lose. He never loses. Guys, wow, just, <laughs> wow. Simon Krieger, head of R&D at Roxxon Energy. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Uh, sorry, I think our 
all landed in your yard. No. You actually did us a favor. We uh, just bought the place. Uh, we're planning to tear it down for a build. But it uh, looks like you beat us to it. I wanted to thank you. Both of you. Taking down Rhino? Solo? <laughs> you are going places, bud. Thanks. But he, he's still dangerous. Nah, we'll hold him for the police. You know, I always think these super troopers are overkill until mm, something like this happens. Oh, duty calls. Hey, uh, really great to meet you both. <laughs> Future's looking bright. Hello. Hey. He's right. Yeah. Let's clear out. Let the police do their job. Just... Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bioelectricity. Wow. Gotta be honest, a little jealous. Hey, look. I got nothing on the OG. Think we should run tests tomorrow? A little voltage analysis? Oh, man. Yeah, sorry. I've been meaning to tell you, I'm not gonna be around for the next few weeks. This is some kind of pee joke I don't get? No. Uh, MJ's headed overseas for the bugle and requested me as her photographer. Kind of a working vacation for us. Oh, man. Look, I don't know if I'm ready to fly solo. I screwed up today big time with the helicopter. But then you delivered big time. You saved my bacon, Miles. I got lucky. Hey, I did this gig for eight years without backup, and you better believe I screwed up lots of times. But that is how you learn. What's this? Christmas present. But first, you gotta take the oath. Oh. Um, okay. I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. That's it? That oath a real thing. Totally. Definitely didn't just make it up. See you in a few weeks, Spider-Man. New York's only Spider-Man. I'm New York's only Spider-Man. I'm New York's only Spider-Man. Please don't screw this up. The city laid in a hit a pinnacle. Shining on a marble that people know for those on the game. I will never get used to you doing that. Hey, look. Check it. Christmas present from Spider-Man. Open it. Dude. Put it on. I'll cover you. Oh, what? <laughs> never seen a guy change clothes in Central Park? Okay. How's it looking? Whoa. Miles Morales, congratulations and welcome to your... Uh, been hearing good things about this one. Hello, I'm Dana Clark, and this is The Dancast, where I spotlight people making a real difference in our city. Today's topic? Oh, you know, stockbrokers, profit colleges, people make internet videos autoplay. <laughs> no? Obviously, we're covering the Spider-Men's incredible takedown of Rhino. Subscribe, Danacast, new favorite podcast. Hi there, I'm Simon Krieger, and what you're standing next to is a new form reactor. Once activated, this reactor will supply enough energy to power all of Harlem. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, Simon, how is that possible? And the answer is new form.
Just one canister of this revolutionary fuel source is enough to supply Harlem with clean, safe energy for the next 500 years. Soon, we'll be opening reactors throughout Manhattan, and then worldwide. Get ready for a planet powered by Nuvor. Roxxon, we're here for you. What was that? Hmm. No sign of anybody. He broke a bunch of stuff. Maybe they were looking for something. Did a search for new form. What were they gonna do with? Man, this night was just not quick. They were tracking new form shipments, but why? Rocks on security. They can take it from here. We gotta look into this later. It's too cold to change out here. Middle school graduation. Haven't seen these two in a while. It's all right, man. Ay, bendito. Mijo, qué guapo. <laughs> Gracias, mami. I invited a guest tonight. Can you get the apartment ready? Oh, um, maybe put on some music to set the mood? Ah, oh, Nadja. Really? Your campaign manager on Christmas Eve? Well, tomorrow's rally isn't going to plan itself. Thanks for getting the apartment ready, mijo. Hello? <laughs> hey, Nadja, ya nos dieron el permiso para mañana. Is the mystery guest Uncle Aaron? Un segundo. You know I don't want him coming around here. I just thought... Never mind. Let's talk about it later, okay? Nadja, I'm back. What did you want me to do again? Put on some music, maybe light the tree. Thank you. Aha, aquí estoy. Oye, espera hasta que llegue la hora de la cena, por favor. Yes, ma'am. Sí, claro. I shouldn't keep bugging mom. Fifteen years in Brooklyn without a stain. Then we moved to Harlem. Might be a sign. Seguro que sí. Glad Dad's tree survived the move. Me too. He loved that little guy. Ain't no Christmas like a Brooklyn Christmas. I miss hearing him say that. El dijo que? No, no, no te creo. Ese hombre está loco. Mom's city council run came together fast. People in Harlem really love her. Dad's favorite album. He put this on every Sunday while he made coffee.
Oh, <laughs> salsa from Abuela. Mom and Dad would move when this came on. I think this was Uncle Aaron's. Dad never played it, but he also never got rid of it. What's the pick, DJ? The greatest record ever. What else did you need me to do? Could you put on some music? Hey, I'm back. Oh, I love this one. Will you be dancing for us this evening? Dinner and a show? Ha! <laughs> no. That doorbell's been broken for years. Miles, could you get that? Of course. How are your parents, Ganky? I have... Finn? Hey, fixed your doorbell. <laughs> it's so good to see you. How are you? It's been like... Months. A lot's changed. Yeah, it really has. Is that our guest of honor? Come on in, you two. Dinner's almost ready. Finn, I'm so glad you could make it. Thanks for inviting me, Miss Morales. <laughs> we missed you. Well, this one especially. <laughs> uh, hi. Finn, this is Genki, my friend from Brooklyn Visions Academy. Genki, this is Finn, my best friend. <laughs> my other best friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys won the middle school science fair at County, right? You made a... Uh, energy converter? converter? Jinx! <laughs> oh. uh. The wiring in this building is such a mess. I'll check the circuit breaker. Come on, Genki. Is Miles still outside? Actually, oh. uh, what about a photo? <laughs> right now? Yeah, you know, precious moments. You gotta capture them. Shouldn't we wait for Miles? No, he hates photos. <laughs> All right, everyone squeeze in. Ready? Great photo, great photo. Oh, hey, Miles. Uh, who's ready to eat? You guys sit down. I got this. Mm, smells good. Mm. Finn, tell us everything you've been up to. You still in robotics club? I had to quit, but I've been studying biotech on my own. Nerd. Oh, says the guy who has to wear an ascot to school. <laughs> hey, only on Tuesdays. <laughs> Does your brother Rick still work for Roxon? I don't know how anyone could work there after seeing your last campaign ad. You went for Simon Krieger's jugular. <laughs> that reminds me. Genki, you have a certain flair for social media. Could you spread the word about tomorrow's rally? Yeah, we'll be trending by midnight. <sighs> Sometimes it feels like Simon Krieger's my real opponent. Roxon has so much influence here, but they don't answer to anyone except their shareholders. Harlem needs someone to fight for the community. That's Mom's campaign speech voice, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, you want to proofread these before I post them? Yes! Do not hit send! <laughs> so, what's going on with you? What do you mean? You seem... I don't know. Distracted. Want to talk about it? 
Not tonight. It's Christmas. Hey, how are you handling the move from Brooklyn? I mean, it's fine. Ugh. You hate it. Nah. That's your, I hate it, but I'm too nice to say it voice. No, it's, I don't know anybody here, and I'm always having to ask for directions. You need to find a good restaurant, a barber shop, somewhere you can shoot hoops. You'll settle in. What if we hang out tomorrow? Just the two of us. You're not too busy? It's winter break. I can put off homework for at least another week. Okay, I'll text you. It's a date. I, I mean, n not a date, uh, you know, a, a friend date. Still as smooth as the last time I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> Tinkerer. Unk said that's their leader. Hey, Danicasters. A lot of you have questions about Roxxon, such as who are they and why do they suck so much? So let me give you a quick rundown. Simon Krieger took over after inventing a new form, Roxxon's super secret fuel source. He shifted the company's focus to power, and now he's trying to build new form reactors around the city, starting in Harbor. Ta-da? Cool. Now here's the problem. Newborn has not been vetted by anyone. No government agencies, no council of medical professionals, nada. Zilch. Roxxon claims Newborn is a... Hey, my buds! Now, pal, so New York wasn't exciting enough during the holidays, there is now a tropical storm slash hurricane creeping its way up the coast. Oh yeah, just like that movie where the boat gets flipped over by a big wave. You know? Oh, it's a nice Anyway, if this storm hits, a lot of people are going to need help. So now's a great time to donate to your local shelter. Until next time, remember to check your credit score annually. You get one free report per year, so be responsible. Goodbye. Let there be. Spider-Man? Huh? You can't have him! Don't you know it's rude to interrupt the bonding process? Let's get out of here, Spider-Man. Teo, got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? <gasps> Spider-Man! Oh! <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh, you almost gave Daddy a heart attack. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. <clears throat> oh. Good work, other Spider-Man. Thanks. Yeah. Of course. Hello, friends, and welcome to the Danicast. You may have heard that I endorse candidate Rio Morales for city council in the special election. So today, I'm interviewing her, for real. Thank you for being on, Miss Morales. Thank you for inviting me. I absolutely love your show. Aww. <laughs> Thanks. So you're running against the incumbent in your district. How do you think you can do better? Unlike my opponent, I live in the district, and I listen to the people who call it home. I want Harlem to be as vibrant and safe as it was while I was growing up here. Roxxon Plaza was built on the current leadership's watch. That alone should make anyone think twice about voting for him. We agree on that. Switching gears a bit, you're a full-time science teacher. What made you want to jump into politics? It's really about loving my home and wanting to fight for it. During Martin Lee's attack on City Hall, my husband gave his life to protect others. I want to honor his memory by fighting for my neighbors and friends the best way I know how. Good luck in the polls, and thank you for being on the show. Dana fans, you can join an AMA with candidate Morales on my blog for the next hour. 
Until next time, remember to set one minute per hour aside for deep, meditative breathing. Helps you clear your head. Okay, bye. Hi, honey. What are you up to? Oh, just, you know, went on a run. Again? Miles, you're working so hard lately. You need to carve out time to relax. I am. I've been hanging with Genki, sampling music. Working out all the time, disappearing for hours to study. I'll stop telling you what to do, but I worry about you, mijo. If I'm feeling burnt out, I'll come talk to you about it, okay? I'll hold you to that. I love you. Bye. Adios, ma. Te quiero. Hey, Molasses! Up here! Fire escape's shakier than it used to be. Careful on the way up. So, this is why you wanted to meet here. Almost failed you took so long. Give me a hand, it's stuck. <sighs> Time capsule seen better days. You remember the combination? Yeah, it's, uh... Oh, man, it's, uh... You kidding me? Y'all gotta start remembering this code. Not always gonna be around to tell you. We'll remember, we'll remember. We'll remember, yeah, yeah, good. Now, uh, what are you gonna put inside this bad boy? Secret time capsule. Only Miles and I know. Boom! Oh, that's right. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Hey, Rick, you gonna take that job at Roxxon or what? <laughs> Why? You gonna take it if I don't? Maybe. Waiting to see the offer. Okay, competition, eh? Well, they're talking a good game. Want me to, uh, <clears throat> lead their clean energy group. And you know me. Clean, clean power, power save, save the, the world! world. <laughs> I love my nerdy fan club. Oh, speak of the devil. Rock's on. Back in a sec. You remember the code, right? Um... The Fibonacci sequence. Nice. A reward. I mean, our energy converter was pretty fire. Truth. You think it's still on display at the Science Center? Hope so. Wow. <laughs> Look at us. Goober Central. <laughs> Rick looking suave as ever, though. Yeah. Something going on with him? You guys fight or something? No. No fight. Finn. It's fine. Why do we really lose touch? Crap, now I'm late. I gotta go. Hey, I feel like we both have stuff we're not sharing. Next time we hang, no secrets. Okay? Yeah. Mm, maybe. If you're on time. See you soon, short stuff. <laughs> you know I'm taller than you now, right? Not in here. Check. Subway card. Check. You got the house key? Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Come on! We're gonna be late! <laughs> uh, hey! <laughs> Dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. It's gonna be fine. See, this is my favorite part of living in Harlem. Pop-up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This would be great for the last beat I was working on. 
Get she get back into Nixon. Kind of fed up with it's still hard to think of mom as a politician. She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Rally. That looks really cool. You're welcome. Oh. Sorry. I should take ASL with you next semester. I've basically already mastered Espanol. Ah, see? There's the cuando. Honey, <laughs> yeah. Underground tag. What do you think they'll do next? Hopefully, realize fighting Spider-Man is too much trouble and decide to go home. <laughs> if only. Good luck, Miss Morales. Thank you, Tim. Look, Roxon's really into the constant vigilance thing, huh? For real. Hey, you okay? You. Yeah, it's just last that time we did one of these, my bad. Best hand rolled ice cream in New York City. And Junipero's daycare. It'll be okay, man. Your mom's got people looking out for her. St. Teresa's Church. was choir. Plus, now you're a spider. <laughs> Even now, Roxxon is transporting new form. It's experimental fuel across the city. But they won't tell us the risk. This message is from Roxxon. The man you answer to, Simon Krieger, is a killer. This plaza is a monument to everything he's done. I won't let it open. The underground will stop it. We've got a situation here. Everyone, stay, stay calm! Nowhere to run! Clap it up! They need you. I'll help your mom. I got you. Let's go. Distraction. Go, go, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not shoot each other, all right? Stay 
stabilizing it. Get down! <laughs> Safe. After the explosion, the bridge started to. We've got to... eyes on the other Spider-Man. 
Please advise. What's going on? I have no idea. Copy. No! No, I'm not your enemy! What are you doing? He you. saved yeah, us! You. Hey, leave him alone! He's I'm recording this! We're leave him alone. Put that phone away now! I said put that phone away now! Hey, get your hands off him! Leave them! This is your last warning! I saved them! Where'd he go? <laughs> oh my god. Did he go over? Did they push him? What they happened to him? Help him. <laughs> what happened to Roxxon being here for us? They were gonna shoot me. They didn't even listen. Are you okay? I don't know.